Hi there! This is just a quick introductory video uh, to show how to use the WordPress site. Uh, so, first step is logging in. So, to log in, you will just use the credentials that I sent you on the email and you type admin uh, after a slash on the site's URL. So, after you add it, you will insert your username and your password and you will log in and the first thing that shows up is the dashboard so this is where you can find pretty much all the settings and the tools that you have installed on your site so uh, if you want to change any settings this is where you want to look for them uh, you have tools and you have settings and you have the plugins which are these um, these extensions you can add to your site. And to get started, um, you can create a page or you can create a blog post. You can also manage the iImpress settings, which is the plugin for IJAX Broker. So I'm going to start showing BV Builder. Uh, BV Builder is, a, is the plugin that we use to create pretty much all the designs. You have the option of not using BV Builder, but since uh, the site is very design oriented, uh, it's, it's the tool that we are going to use. So if you want to start working with BV Builder or editing a page, you can click on this button that says edit page. And if you want to go straight to BV Builder, you can go here. Um, so this is where uh, the back end of the page you can change the title um, on this page you can change the permalink because it's the home page but if you are on any other page you can change this permalink as well and these are the settings for publishing the page and the template you have a variety of templates that you can use and this is the featured image this image uh, if it's on a page uh, it will usually show on Google and uh, sharing on social media. And you also have Yoast SEO, which is a plugin that helps you to manage the SEO of the site. You can add meta descriptions. Um, it's a good practice of SEO to insert meta descriptions on your pages to help indexing it. You can change the SEO title, a slug, uh, you can as your focus keyword and it also provides you with readability analysis uh, shows what you're doing right on the page and what are the problems uh, it's a really useful plugin um, so this is what you can do on the back end of the pages to work with BV Builder you can click on BV Builder and working with BV Builder is really easy it's a very intuitive tool you can click around uh, whenever you want to change something. You hover over the element that you want to change. So if you want to change the button, you click on this range. Uh, and it will load your window. Uh, these windows are divided in tabs. So uh, it's really organized and really easy to use. Uh, this is basically how to work with it. If you want to change uh, bigger elements like rows, you need to hover the uh, bigger element, like the whole row, row, and you click the setting, the settings icon. If you're not sure what one of the icons does, you can click. Uh, sorry, you can hover over it, and a little tooltip will show up showing how you can change it. If you want to move around these icons, it's really easy as well. And if you want to insert something new, you can click here. These are the modules that you have available. And here are the rows. BV Builder will have the rows that are ready for you to use. So if you want six columns, you can just, sorry, five columns, you can just insert. And it's ready to add modules. Then after you add a row, you add a module. You insert it, the column you want. Then you configure it. And there it is. If you want to explode a row, you just click here. It's 
really easy. Uh, you can just uh, take a look around and you can see how it works. You have the option of saving templates, duplicating layouts, adding CSS and JavaScript, changing the UI. Uh, there's also um, an option for to see revisions of the page. So if you want to go back, you can go here. It's really great. Uh, it's a great tool. I have saved some columns and rows and modules for you to use. So um, if you want to look for something that was already created, like the community sidebar or the feature listing showcase, which is the global widget that shows here and on the listings page, you can just dra uh, drag and drop whatever you want it. If a module is global, that means that it looks the same and works the same way whenever you add it. And if you change on one place, and if you change it on one place, uh, you can see the, the changes everywhere else. So the blog is really easy to maintain as well. The blog page, you won't need to worry about it. Uh, these posts are coming automatically, so whenever you post something, it goes right here. These images are featured images, so if you want to add a new blog post, you can go here, new post, when you can also add new media page, new page, uh, or you can go to the dashboard, and you can click posts, and you click add new. On this page, you can configure title, the content of the post. You can choose a category. It's really easy to create a category. And you can set the featured image. If you choose to use the BV Builder layout, uh, the featured image will be the header of the post. But you can also use BV Builder if you want to. For the blog post, it's really whatever, whatever you find that works best for you. Uh, here is an example of a page. Uh, of a blog post, you have the comments. So now that I showed you how to manage the design, I'm going to show the customizer, which is a great tool that allows you to edit the site and see in real time how it's going to look. There are some settings here that are not working because we designed the site to use BB Builder. So your hero section and footer background will not work because these are set up with BB Builder, but you can choose fonts and typography. You can also choose colors. Um, this color is the color of the menu, and this is the highlight color, the red. This is the color of the text. Uh, and you can also uh, work on the menus. Uh, we have a bunch of menus on the site. So these are the menus of the sidebars of the pages. This is the main menu. To work on the menu is really easy. It's just click add items and you choose one of the list. And you can also drag and drop it. Uh, on the customizer, you also have the option of adding CSS. So if you want to keep your CSS organized, I advise you to use this because I already added some CSS in here. And it's easier this way because we don't advise you to change the thing. It's not a good idea because it updates automatically. So if you alter the theme, not only can you break it, but you can lose everything that you changed. So this is the uh, the Ajax Broker plugin. These are the gravity forms. Um, and this is the media library. To add new stuff in here, you can just drag and drop the images from your computer and they will load. And you don't need to worry about compressing them because we install a tiny PNG that keeps the images compressed. You can add new plugins here. Uh, you can see the library of plugins from WordPress and you can uh, look for any plugins that you'd like. Uh, on appearance, you can see more stuff like widgets. You can see a whole page dedicated to menus. It's really easy to use. Um, uh, you can also see the Switch Home Pro settings. This page as well does not uh, work. Many of the settings will not update because we are using Baby Builder. But there is these two boxes that work and 
I advise you to use if you want to add scripts. You can add scripts to the header and add scripts to the footer. Uh, there are some codes that you need to insert sometimes to the site, like Google Analytics code, Facebook codes, and you can use right here. And you can just throw the JavaScript code and it will work. Um, uh, in here, you can manage users for your site. Uh, on this part of WordPress, the dashboard, you just need to click around and read everything. And it's really intuitive. Um, lots of plugins have documentations and tutorials on the internet to see how it works. And WordPress has this great section called Video Tutorials, where you can see a bunch of videos for everything. And they have a wide a uh, wide variety of videos. There is also a bunch of Yoast SEO tutorials that will help you uh, set the pages for SEO, make improvements so the site ranks well with Google. So that's it. There's just one more thing that I'm going to show, which are the hidden rows. Uh, if you go to a page and you see that you have uh, two rows that are basically identical, don't worry because one of them will be a mobile row, like this one. This row will look too big on mobile and it will break the window. The window will look too large and you will have to zoom in to see the site. So I created this row that's only visible on mobile and it's hidden on desktop. If you want to add a row that is hidden on desktop or mobile, you can go to the row settings and go to advanced and you can see the display uh, which sets what you uh, watch computers see, watch mobile phones see. And there's also this where you can hide things from people that are not, are not logged into the site. So if you're testing a design and don't want people to see it yet, you can hide everything with Builder. It's really useful. So I think that's it. If you have any questions, you can just let me know and I will help. Um, but, but that's basically it. It's really easy and intuitive. And I believe you will get the hang of it pretty soon. And thanks.